Hey guys, so I'm currently in France now and just a few weeks ago, it has been my third season of skiing. Now that doesn't mean that I'm a professional, it just basically means that it's my third year going skiing. That being said, the very first year that I've tried it was two years ago. And now that I'm sitting here, I was actually going to edit my most recent skiing trip, but then I realized that I haven't really documented the very first time that I went skiing since I'd like to share with you guys and I also would like to have it in my channel so that I can look back on it in the future I decided to do like a quick vlog of what happened when I first tried skiing because right now I can definitely say and tell you that I love skiing and I hope to be a lot better at it in the coming years um, as of now I think I'm doing better but it could of course be improved but anyway that being said so yeah let's go back to 2022 so back then i was here in france as usual to visit my boyfriend now fiance and around that time i think it was also in january wait let me check ah uh, my nose it's so cold here so yeah um around that time yes also around this time around the last weeks of January, he decided to take me to a nearby ski resort town which was called Esfant Durl. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly but I'm pretty sure it's called Esfant Durl. So it's like Fond de Ul. It's still so very hard for me to speak French but basically at least from what I know Fond means to do or to make. De is just like off or da. So it's like make the Earl. I don't know what Earl is. I guess it's just what they call the place or the ski resort town. <laughs> but anyway, so we headed over there because uh, a few weeks before he was looking at the live web cameras that were overlooking the place and it just so happened that there was like some fresh snow a day before so we drove there. And on the way, it was quite exciting to see the landscape slowly changing into a very mountainous uh, area. And then after a few more kilometers, we were welcomed to this amazing view of snow. And as you can see, it's quite magical because like I said, some fresh snow has just fallen a day before. Anyway, once we arrived, there were quite a lot of people and he was already actually thinking that we should try to do skiing but since we came unprepared and he wants us to do it for at least a day meaning that we must at least do an overnight trip what we rather did instead was that we borrowed some uh, i don't know how to properly call this but like um, snow hiking shoes so that we can at least go around the place and have a look around and so we rented that and as you can see in the next videos that i will show you it was such a magical place, so white and so powdery, and I just really loved it. By the end of this short hike that we did, we decided to come back next week so that we can properly try skiing and book a hotel for a night. And so fast forward, it was the day that we were back in Fontoureau and yeah, from that moment on, we went first to get our ski passes as well as acquired our ski rental items. Frank already had his own ski set because he has been skiing a few years back, but I don't. So I had to rent everything from the shoes, helmet of course, and yeah, I also borrowed proper uh, skiing gear like a ski jacket and pants and all of that. I also took on one hour classes with an instructor, but since most of the instructors in this place did not speak English, because after all, it's not really a big and popular ski resort town, but don't worry, other bigger ski resort towns will have instructors who can actually speak English because they will be bigger and more popular but since this place nearby where Frank lived is a bit smaller 
smaller and more local let's say then of course there weren't any instructors who spoke english so for the whole duration of my ski lessons frank was with us translating whatever the instructor was trying to tell me so yeah um during this point unfortunately i wasn't able to record it because of course I wanted to focus on what I was doing and Frank being that he hasn't skied in such a long time he also wants to focus on what he's doing as well as in translating the things that the instructor was telling me so of course we didn't have a video of that but it went great I actually expected myself to fall a lot and mess up or probably hurt myself but thankfully I didn't and I'm also quite happy that I have managed to really balance myself and go a bit faster than what I thought I could and thinking about it, I have to thank my ability to rollerblade and skate ever since I was a kid. I guess given that fact that I had that sort of muscle memory, doing skiing wasn't that scary. I mean, of course it was still scary, but it was manageable. Anyway, after this one hour skiing lesson, I think it was one hour. I'm not sure if it was for two hours that I did it, but I know that it was at least an hour. So anyway, after I did this skiing lesson, Frank and I went by ourselves to go and ski along all the other slopes in Fontenot. It was a lot of fun. I think at some point there was a certain slope, which was a blue one. So anyway, so to give you guys some background, whenever you go to a ski resort, place or skiing place they will mark the slopes according to its difficulty so that of course if you're a beginner you shouldn't go to let's say a black slope because uh, by levels the one for elementary or beginners will be the green slope followed by the blue slope and then a red slope and the most difficult one would be marked as a black slope so yeah what was i saying <laughs> oh yeah i think i was saying that at some point uh Frank took me to like a blue slope and since I don't know how to properly turn yet and that the only way I know how on I mean how to stop is to do the pizza which is basically it's where you position your skis or your feet in like this triangular position without overlapping your skis so yeah like a pizza shape basically so that's why it's called a pizza so that's the only way I know how to stop and of course I can't go fast yet I can't turn properly and I messed up I think my skis went over one another and I fell down and when I fell down for some reason I found myself falling down head first down the slope and imagine me there lying down in the snow and gliding down and just waiting for myself to just stop and I think that really spooked me out and I was crying <laughs> and when Frank came to help me up I was shaking so much and I was so scared but he was trying to assure me that everything's all right I wasn't injured I'm okay because yeah I think that's an important thing that you have to maintain when you're doing skiing is that you have to try and keep that confidence in yourself because if you don't have it of course it will be much scarier to ski so anyway, <laughs> that was a very bad fall. Not that I was injured, but it's just that the way that I fell was just so scary. And it made me think that I might not actually want to ski anymore. <laughs> but thankfully, I got over that because like I said, yeah, now I'm on my third season. That being said, uh, for the rest of the day, we just enjoyed our time skiing and it was just a lot of fun. With our day full of skiing, we went down Fontul and went to a nearby town to check into our hotel in which I have had my fill of a very good uh, local delicacy called a Startiflet which you should definitely try and so again fast forward it's the next day and we woke up to this very foggy scene so of course when we went up to the mountain back to the ski resort Fondo, the scenery was so eerie and white like this and it was a bit nerve-wracking to ski when you have this kind of scene because you can't see much but either way it was still safe and we did some slopes together and once again it was a lot of fun So 
that's it for this very quick recap or vlog about the very first time that I tried skiing. Now I'm trying to catch up and post the next one in a much faster schedule so don't worry you won't have to wait for too long for the next one because i also want to share with you guys at least within this quarter <laughs> of the most recent uh, ski trip that i did please stay tuned for part two of my skiing experience which happened just last year i think around the same time or at least in the first quarter because of course that's winter season but yeah it was to this magical french town called a chatel it's near the border of switzerland like what some of these clips are showing this place was so magical and i also can't wait to share with you guys my experience there thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again next time